<sighs> Sorry if I stuttered too much. It's like 12 o'clock at night and I'm kind of tired right now. Waking up was always a struggle for me when I was young and now um, I'm really lazy. I felt like time kept going while I just stood still. Credits to freequotes.com. Thanks for that quote. Here you can see my mom on the top left, my dad on the top right, and my sister on the bottom left. A little about my family, here you can see my sister and me when we went to Hawaii, and back then she was even taller than me, which I don't really know why. My mom and dad were immigrants during the Vietnam War, so when they came here, they weren't as rich as the Americans. Uh, since we were poor and living in a mobile home, my parents expected me to be super smart and top of my class by sending me to tutoring, but as you can see now, I have a B in chem, so I didn't make it to my 6th grade pentathlon team, so that's good. Uh, as you can see right about now see that's my team right there uh, i like them a lot all right anyways i usually disobeyed my parents a lot and i preferred to have fun rather than working and i was often punished for that the only person who really supported my dreams was my uncle and he just kept telling me to do what i loved the most and don't let my parents stop me because my uncle was also rebelling against my I, that's why I respected my uncle so much because he actually felt like a dad, not my own dad. So regardless of how my family felt and how they tr mistreated me so much, I still love them because they cared for me and they acted like real parents. They cared. Yeah. Uh, over time, I was considered the oddball of my family because everyone was so smart and I was just like average. And not to mention, my sister was well respected while I was getting bullied in school. Uh, one of my favorite memories of my parents and me were when we went to the Grand Canyon together. We made so many mem we made so many memories, and we had lots of fun. For those who were running wondering, that's not a that's a my special blanket, which I had till I was like thirteen. Uh, it was fun the whole vacation until my dad's manager came on a helicopter helicopter to pick up my dad to go to the office we ended up driving all the way back to this day i've made so many new friends and i've had so much fun i met new people after advancing from elementary to high school and many of these people have been what made me go through my life and inspired me to work harder and as you can see on the right side uh, we've been playing together tennis and many games uh, for almost two years now and even though i'm obviously stronger than him you can tell in this video i still find him to be great when competing against he's a junior in high school currently but that doesn't stop me from becoming friends with him because in my book age doesn't matter it's always good to have a close friend they help you get through bad times and they buy you food when you're hungry they care for you and they're they kind of act like a sister or a brother I didn't realize that until I got older, but I wish I had gotten as close to a friend as I had with Andy when I was younger. Unlike me, a good lesson that everyone should follow is that they should have a, a close friend to rely on whenever they're in times of trouble. And also, don't play, have fun when you didn't even do any lessons yet. Uh, when I was younger, I always felt like time kept going and I just stood still. I even wished I could repeat my whole life again, just to make better choices and do better with the time I have. But now I've met such great people and have decided to move on with my life rather than let my life keep me down. Even my parents have accepted my lifestyle by now, and once or twice a year they allow me to go anywhere with a group of friends to enjoy what life has to offer. I've decided to not let my wrongdoings hold me down. And with that, I just go wherever I want and have fun with my friends. Turns out, this has allowed me to find new passions in my life, such as playing chess with my friends, uh, even though I'm pretty bad at chess and I haven't even won against someone older than me yet. Uh, I like playing beach volleyball with my friends, even though I don't really know how to play volleyball at all. And I like to spend good time with my friends by going to the beach, going to my house with them, and playing video games, or just you know, hanging out with them as every other ordinary kid these days um as i look around today i see the splendid things that life has to offer and i continue to look upon the horizon rather than look down which i've done throughout my entire life sorry i didn't know how to really word that correctly